So good day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, if it's your first time here, please subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and ring the notification bell, so whenever I upload videos, you'll get notified. So, in my last few videos I've been complaining about uh, how we hadn't had much winter, uh, hadn't really started yet, well, today it started. Not sure if you can see out or not, but we're getting a little bit of snow. Nothing like others have, and I've seen other people post 20 degrees below zero uh, wind chills. We're, we we do have a, it's about 20 degrees, and uh, I, I last time I checked the wind chill it was down uh, around 11 degrees. So uh, kind of a shock uh, when less than a week ago we had a 70 degree day so but it will help me out today because um, one of two of my pastures um, I do have access to water however um, the water that I uh, have access to it also takes care of my house and if you've been on here before you see I have to haul water for myself um, so the only drawback with that is, is I have to dump it in one place, pump it up. So with it being cold like this, long story short, I'm able to actually back the truck up and dump the water directly off the truck. So, um, it actually, it, it sounds like it wouldn't be much of a savings, but I got to go outside, turn on a valve, hook up a hose. Um, and actually with it being frozen like this, the hose that I have in the ground, uh, it just runs on top of the ground, uh, right now. Um, so I have to actually string uh, another hose from the house out to where it is. Just, this is just much easier. Um, it's no less work as far as hauling the water, uh, but as far as uh, having to hook up a hose and drag it out to where the two uh, water troughs are. So it'll actually work out. I'll be able to back right down there today and uh, just unload it right from the, right from the truck. So... But uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of snow here. It's got maybe a little bit of a dust on the road. It's not even slippery. It's looks like it's very, really dry snow. It's just like powder. So, but it's supposed to be cold today, tomorrow, and then in, um, in Tuesday even. And then it's supposed to start to warm up again. And then the next like two weeks I looked, um, it's like highs of 40 every day. So. I guess we'll be back to the mud again. Typically, whenever they say 40, it, it's usually, mm, it, it, I, I've noticed that it's two or three degrees usually warmer here at my house than whatever they predict, uh, which is crazy because they use the airport, the, the uh, county airport, which um, I live right beside it. So um, it's, it's, it's crazy, I don't know. I have a, I have a weather station at my house that I don't know, it was a couple hundred dollars. Uh, it gives you wind speed, it, it uh, measures you know rain, all that kind of stuff. It was a, it was a fairly good one. Um, and I don't know if it's, if it's inaccurate or the one that's directly over the hill is uh, a little bit inaccurate, or if, um, I can't imagine the temperature change could be that much between here and, uh, as the crow flies, the, uh, the runway is probably maybe 400 yards 500 yards from where i'm sitting at now so can't imagine there's that big of a temperature change in that uh length of space so but it doesn't really matter um just kind of rambling on <laughs> but uh, again i appreciate uh, you tuning into my channel uh I, I greatly appreciate anybody who tunes in and wants to watch um see what goes on in rural life on farming, homesteading, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, again, it's kind of a boring time uh, on the farm. Um, it, it just this time of the year, it's just pretty much uh, go out, uh, take care of your animals, make sure they're fed and got water, and uh, get back in the house. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on um, that you can really do, um, you know, out on the farm wise. Um, 
I don't raise any crops. I, I, I put up hay. Um, so that's my main farming chore in the summertime is trying to make some hay for, for the animals for the wintertime. Um, so, of course, we used to make crops here. This year was a dairy farm, so we raised corn and oats and wheat and, um, you know, put up hay whenever we had the, the dairy. Um, but, you know, we haven't done that for years. And all that equipment that I had to do that kind of stuff is just, it's ancient now. Uh, and it hasn't really been used in years. So to get that stuff back up and get it going to plant crops, um, it's just, it would cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars um, by the time I got done to, to buy the, all the equipment I'd need, uh, you know. Um, right now, the only thing I really have is a plow. I've got a disc to work the ground and a, a harrow and a, a cold mulcher. Um, so I could work the ground up, um, but then I'd have to buy something to plant and then I'd have to buy something to harvest, so... Uh, and then, you know, there's a lot of things that, that wouldn't work out. So I just focus on hay right now. It would be nice to have my own grain. Um, you know, it would save a lot of feed costs. Uh, and that might be something I look at in the future. Uh, even if I don't do anything other than buy a, a, a feed grinder at some point and uh, buy your corn um, and grind it. <clears throat> uh, there's a few few folks, few farmers close around here that have ear corn that I could buy, um, you know, by the ton, and I could grind it myself, so that's down the road, though. For right now, um, I'd like to switch over to just, you know, pasture and grazing, um, but um, I guess I have, <laughs> I, I, I'm not, not completely sold on um, not giving them some grain in the, in the wintertime. Um, I just, I think that, um, I don't know, I was just raised that in the wintertime they need the grain to keep, keep going, to give them the energy, the calories they need to, to maintain uh, their body. Um, I don't obviously have a lot of, I could turn my hay fields into pasture, uh, but but that requires fencing and some other things and right now I'm just not set up for that so um, I'm gonna work on on some things here whenever the uh, whenever spring comes I really want to get uh, some chickens and uh, do, do some pasture uh, not pasture chickens but um, I actually I want to see how they work in a garden bed and uh, that's the goal right now uh, I need to get a, a chicken tractor built. Um, and I'm actually, uh, if you never tuned into him, um, check him out. It, Justin Rhodes, uh, Abundant Permaculture. I actually joined his uh, group. Um, it, it's it's a little pricey. It's 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 220. I paid 225 dollars for the year, uh, but it does give you a um, a whole host of videos, and you can text and ask him questions. 24/7. Um, like I said, it's 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 a little pricey, um, but um, he just has knowledge about permaculture, and I really I really want to get into that. I really I really think just from what I've seen, what I've heard, um, it just it just really seems like it would be a um, a good way. I mean. It's basically finding problems <clears throat> and turning the problem into a solution. Uh, for instance, like the chickens, um, instead of taking your tiller out and tilling up the ground, um, you know, fence it off, um, put put chickens in there, let them let them tear up the ground. Uh, one chicken in a month uh, gives up to eight pounds of of manure. Um, so that's eight pounds of manure that's put on your garden, scratched in by the chicken. Um, essentially just fertilizing your your garden instead of going out and buying amendments buying fertilizers buying a tiller you know and then still basically fighting all the weeds and everything else the bugs 
put chickens in there. Whatever you don't eat out of there, the chickens will eat. Uh, get hogs, the hogs will eat what the chickens don't want to eat. Um, you know, they'll eat the bugs, they'll eat they'll eat uh, the vegetables and the, and the leafy material that you don't want to eat or you don't eat. Uh, put compost in there, let them, let them spread it around. I mean, let them do the work instead of you out there with a rake and a hoe and, and a tiller. Um, you know, and, and if you've ever raised a garden, you know that unless you do something to prevent the weeds from coming up, such as put down some kind of plastic or something like that, if you let it go for more than a week or so, you have a job on your hands. Uh, so, so I really want to get into that. I want this spring. I want to get get some chickens to start that. I have one garden bed. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out on, uh, and we're gonna see how it works. So. All right, I'm going to jump off here, and uh, I'll meet you back whenever we get up to uh, Charlie's Water. I want to show you again. Now, we're going to see how that thing's doing. It's been really cold the last um, 24 hours, uh, so it had a good freeze on it. Uh, so I really want to see uh, how that thing's going and if how much ice I have up there. Uh, if it's like it has been, there's only been maybe a, a half inch at the top, and the last two times that it froze over, he actually broke it open with his nose and, and got a drink anyway. So I think it's working out. We're going to see, though. So we'll see you up there. All right, so we're back. Oh. Up here at, let you look and see how Charlie's water thing went last night. It does have some ice on it. Let's see. So just as I thought, the wind was blowing pretty hard, but as you can see, there's only about a half inch of ice uh, on the top. Um, so it is working out for me. So it worked out pretty good. I don't know if you could hear me or not, uh, but again, it probably had about a half inch on the top. I broke it. He doesn't seem all that interested, so probably isn't real, real thirsty. So I'm gonna run some fresh water in there, and uh, that might entice him to drink a little bit. So we shall see. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off here now. Get my uh, work done and try to get back in the house because it is not real nice outside. So, <clears throat> again, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for coming back um, and checking in with me. Um, so, again, yeah, subscribe. Um, hit the like button if you like the video and uh, get out and ring the notification bell so whenever I uh, upload videos, you'll get a chance to see them. All right. Uh, I'm going to be signing off. Everyone have themselves a blessed day.